We want to speak him for a long time and today finally we get the opportunity. Ainsley Lister, very known in Holland and the rest of Europe, is finally on the camera for Blue Smooth TV slash radio. Ainsley, welcome. Hello. <laughs> it's very very nice to be here at last. Yeah, you're you're now you're preparing here for the, the Highlands Festival. Um you're gonna play one hour. Yeah. How do you prepare your songs? You're gonna have to pick out of a huge uh album of songs, only one hour. Who's gonna lose the battle? It's really hard. Uh, one hour goes so fast. Um, normally, at a normal show, we play two, two and a half hours, and even then, you have to pick the right songs. You want, you know, fast songs, slow songs, your best songs. Uh, so one hour is really hard. Hey, you're one of the youngsters of the young blues scene from Britain, and um, you're the, probably the hope to keep up the blues what do you see that as a burden or as a as a good thing for you to carry that torch in Britain over Britain and overseas to us yeah I, yeah, I guess if, if I'm seen in that way then it's a it's, it's an honor really um, yeah if, if people look at me and see that I'm you know keeping the, the music alive uh, whether it's blues or I mean, it's really hard to to categorize music, to call it blues or rock, or but if people see me as doing that, I I have no problem with that at all. I How do you see it yourself then? Because you're you're, you're saying to me, well, some people see people as blues, but you 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 always do some songs or in the pop category, if I may say so. What what do you what do you like the most that people say to you? What do you call to yourself? Uh, I think it's I'm a blues guitarist, so. When I play the guitar, it's always going to sound like it's got a blues element to it. I learned to play from listening to blues songs, so. Uh, but the, I think the music I write is more, probably a bit rocky, a bit more rocky. So it's kind of blues rock, rock. But it's, I think whatever I do, even when I play, you know, like say the, the poppy commercial stuff, it's still got blues guitar solos on it. So um, I think, I think my stuff appeals to blues fans and people who are not necessarily into blues. Um, but people call it all sorts of things. Is it wise nowadays to have a blues, to play the blues, uh, economically wise, business wise? Is it more sense to, to be a hip hop artist, which particularly is almost the same as blues, if you, if you watch the lyrics? I think, I think all music is very closely connected. And I think to call something blues or rock or jazz, it's very hard because there's very few artists that play only blues or very few artists to play only rock. Um, so, it's uh, is blues a bad thing? In some ways, yes. Uh, in it, certainly in England, if you call something blues, straight away your audience, potential audience goes from that to that. If you say rock, your audience goes from that to that. So, it depends what the market is like in each country you play in. I know certainly over here in Holland and Switzerland and Germany where I play quite a lot, um, blues is, is more recognized on the live music circuit so we we do tend to play to bigger crowds when we play over here in Holland and that's my guess is it's the same in, uh, in in the US because they don't label it as blues but they always label it as as rock so yeah. um, you're pretty young but nevertheless if I asked uh, well, where should we go with the interview you say oh, let's go about the current work that applies to me that the early work you did wasn't necessarily bad, but you had an evolution in writing songs and playing them. What can we expect in the, in the couple of the couple of years ahead? Then, I think um, anything you do creatively, you you get better at it. You know, um, when I think back to the first CDs, records that I made, my writing was still very. I was quite naive. I'd never written before, whereas now, immature. Yeah, with a certain, I think now you know you you get better at your craft, you get better at doing it, and you get uh, certainly for me, I I've, I'm a, I'm better now at hearing something in my head and then being able to present it. Whereas be, when I first started writing, I could hear it in my head what I wanted, but I couldn't always present it in the right way. It never sounded right. Whereas now, I think I'm, I yeah, I suppose I'm just. Yeah, I, I find it easier. I, I find it easier to do. Watch out then, because it's everything it coming easy to you. It ain't blues anymore. Yeah, <laughs> blues well, had to be hard work. Yeah, I, it's just, I think looking forward the next two or three years, 
um, I would just like to get out to as many people as possible and reach as many different kinds of audience like blues you know rock even people who are not into blues I'd like to reach out to everyone you know and hopefully people like the stuff that they keep me on the road <laughs> you know well that's an interesting question because um, you did the tower sessions was 2010 what do you consider a proper time to release an, an album, another album? One year, two years, if it's ready? I, th I think when it's ready. Um, you can release products every six months, every 12 months. I mean, some artist, I mean, Joe Bonamassa, he releases a CD every, like two CDs a year. And videos. Yeah, and if he, ca he, he can obviously sustain that, he can do it and keep doing more and more and more. For me, I like to do things a bit slower you know I like I'm writing now I'm gonna be in the studio in two months time and I'm ready to record now a new studio album the last studio album was 2009 but it's taken three three and a half years to be ready for another one because I've got I've got something to say I've got something to present so I think when you're ready personally do you have any help of the other band members in creating those songs or is most of the time an Ainsley Lister solo ID and evolvement before you go to the studio. I, I write on my own. I write in isolation. I have a at home. I have a studio, and I just do it all on my own. I write the bass parts, the drum parts, and I record a demo, and then I give it to the band and say, "Learn this," and then we go out on the road and try it. And it, when you're on the road, it does change a bit. People change, you know, the bass line or the drums. But the first version of it is I write. I write on my own. I always have done. You're quite young, that means that you were grown up with the internet. That makes you a lot easier to adjust all the stuff as internet. A lot of old blues guys say, oh, I don't sell that many CDs anymore. It has to come from live shows. So, um, we can't ask you better, but do you like the certain way the business is going now in, in the blues? You get paid for a gig and if you got lucky, you sell CDs on the crowd which is present there. Or, or online, but that's it. Um, yeah, I mean... I can only speak from my own experience, but um, yeah, I, the, the live gigs certainly over the last two or three years, there's more and more people coming along, and yeah, we we, we do a lot of CDs at gigs, um, and yeah, it keeps us on the road, you know, and yeah, I can't ask for more than that really. What was the worst gig you were ever played of? The worst. The worst, and I tell I, I tell you why I ask. I mean anything, or, or organization or audience wise, <laughs> of the early days. <laughs> I don't know, I suppose, <laughs> the, um, the wor as a musician, if I can call myself that, <laughs> um, the worst gigs are the ones where you have a technical problem. You've got an audience of 6,000 people at a festival and you have a terrible technical problem and something sounds, something doesn't work. And there's 6,000 people watching you, expecting you to fix the problem <laughs> like that. And you can't. So then you have, to, you have to carry on and just get through it. And those, as a musician, they're the most frustrating times. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything. But, you know, when you're playing 150 shows a year, you know, bad things happen on stage. You know, amps, amps blow up, you know. Uh, <laughs> Strings broke, break. Yeah, all this kind of thing, but you kind of learn to just get through it. So, as a musician, the best gigs are where the sound is good as well, where it sounds, you know, you're playing or you're singing, and you're hearing what you what you what you're putting out there. You're you're singing or you're playing, and you want to hear the same thing back through the speakers, and they're, they're the best gigs, and also where the crowd is there as well. I came in that day because mostly um, some of the states like you was getting uh, feedback from the audience and mostly if the feedback is good you're getting better and you're gonna give it, give it up a notch and are you always concerned to be to, to deliver to the people what they what you think they expect uh, for me I I always I mean I do get nervous before I go on stage. Or are you just, no, some music is good, it's good for me, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, no, I definitely feed off the crowd. If the crowd's good, then the show's good. Um, sometimes you play to crowds that are not as responsive, they're a bit quieter, so you, without realising, unconsciously, you have to try and give more, and then you tense up. 
But for me, when, before I go on stage, I always get the adrenaline. Not nerves as in I don't, you know, I can't go on stage, I don't get that. But my adrenaline starts going. The first song, I get into my zone, and then you see the reaction after the first song, and from there, that's where you know if it's going to be a good gig or an okay gig. What do you, cons what do you think is the best blues song ever written? Not by you, by somebody else. Uh, the best blues song ever written. It's got it all. Good build-up, good lyrics, good, good sound, good use of guitar or any instrument. I can't answer that question. I don't know. I really don't know. There's so many. So many. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. That's, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> the, the well, make it easy for her. What's the worst blues lyric you ever heard? <laughs> Uh, I woke up this morning. <laughs> she was gone. <laughs> I, I actually made a point. I've never ever in a song written the words "I woke up this morning." <laughs> I might have wrote "This morning I woke up," <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's okay. But no, I think I think the worst thing in blues is the cliche thing where people just play down, 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 down it, and it's the same lyrics. It's the same about you know the woman's gone and left me, or I woke up. I love that. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. But Come on. <laughs> he, you've seen his women, they always left him. Yeah, I think it's just, I, I've always tried to stay clear of the blue, the cliches that you get in all music, you know. Um, but yeah, I think he just crashed the, the, the bus, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, right. It's a speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I just, I try to steer clear of, I try to be as original as I can, you know. Is there any any subject what you think there should be a blues song about uh, written about? I think you can write never did never was. I think you can write blues about anything. I mean, what is blues? Blues is just uh, it's it's an emotion that you put into music. So it can it, it can have more than three chords. Uh, it can have a chorus line that you can sing along to. It's you know. Uh, yeah, that's a great idea for a, for a chorus. Um, yeah, anything really. No, because almost anybody we ask is, is going to say, no, blues is a feeling. <laughs> if you don't it's, have the feeling. It's an emotion. <laughs> it's, I think blues... And if you got the feeling, that's blues. I think the best blues artists are the ones that can do the, the simplest, like guitarists that can play the simplest thing, two or three notes, and it sounds, you can hear the emotion dripping from it. Vocalists, you know, singers, they haven't got ten octaves in their voice. They've got they sing with five notes. But like BB King, the guy hardly plays or sings anything. But he sounds it's together. No, but he sounds incredible. Not at the same time, in the end. and I think that's something that blues, good blues, has got in it. Some, it's got emotion. It comes it comes through in the music. Are you guitar buff? Are you uh, if you if we send you in a guitar store, are you easy to get out or? Uh um, Does money is a, an object for you then? <laughs> if you if we let you, you buy anything. Okay, if it's new stuff, stuff that just came out of the factory, I walk out straight away. If it's uh, old stuff, you you have to you have to grab me. Yeah, I I, I love I love equipment, Am amps, guitars. Yeah. Fender or Gibson? Um, at the moment, I would say Gibson. Isn't although, that although? Isn't that different in in any song? It, it's, well, today I'll play both. I'll play a Strat and a Les Paul. But my Les Paul is not a Gibson. It's made by someone else. <laughs> but... We get cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like humbuckers. I do humbuckers. They're good. They give a good sound. Um, pretty last question. What are your... Do you have a sort of a master plan for yourself laid out? Uh, in a couple of years I want to reach that and in the next years I want to be in that stage musically wise, business wise, uh, anything I want to be a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> so do we but <laughs> no I, I, I don't I just I want to get out to as many people as possible and I just want to carry I mean I love doing this I, you I love doing this you should know. not be ashamed to say no in a couple of years I want to do some bigger gigs you know for some bigger I, venues maybe for me um, money is not a motive I, I have, you know, as long as I can live and enjoy, you know, happiness is not about having loads of money for me. Happiness is about being happy in your life, you know, so, and uh, I'm happy, so, so I'm good.
that's a beautiful phrase to end this interview. We're gonna make a couple of shots of your show and.